Hi, welcome back to Guardian Angel Resin Creations. Today I'm going to be making some coasters. I um, ordered something off Timu and it didn't come. This is what they sent me instead. It was meant to be little things with letters in them, but they're here. So they've got little patterns on them. Oh, indent things. So I'm gonna try and make some I don't know whether they're fairy flowers or what they're going to turn out like, but we're going to give it a go. So I made up my resin. I finished stirring about 15 minutes ago. Now, I know that this is probably not the right way to be doing it. And it's probably not warm enough. But I've just had it sitting to... Try and get a lot of the bubbles out because I put a lot of bubbles in there when I was stirring it. So I've got the machine, but I just couldn't be bothered getting it out and cleaning it. And so what I'm going to do is just put the pour the clear resin in. Try and get equal amounts in there because I made up 200 mils of each. I'm using a part A and a part B one. Are they sorry? A, a one and one. I do have a couple of two to ones. One's a deep pour. The other one I have only just received, a platinum one, but it's a food grade. So I want to try and do something like with the actual food grade. So I'm going to do that. I'm um, going to make a bowl, like a lolly bowl for Christmas shortly. So I'll, I'll put that video up when I made them. So I'm just. Pouring this in and trying to make it even. See how we go. I don't think my mould, I don't think my tray is quite level, which is a little bit of a, a pain. That over, I might have to put another stick under my leveler. I just cannot get them level, no matter what I do or what I try. I just can't get this silly thing level. So I'll just have to get down on the ground and just see what I've got in there. God, look at all the bubbles in it. Put that there like that. Okay. Okay, so I've set some aside for my white. So I'm just going to actually pour the rest of that in to my little containers for my white. I'm just doing it off to the side so I don't think you'll you can see me at the moment so I've just filled up my containers with the white I might just try and get another another stick maybe I think they look even it needs a bit more in that one I don't want to dirty my up too much and have stuff all run down the side because I like to these are a dollar each so not that expensive but I do like to try and try and keep using them as I'm new to resin and as you all know resin does cost a lot of money if you bugger it up okay so pull that into that one right okay so i'm gonna i don't know i think i might have to bang the board nope not sure how i'm gonna get these out i might have to let it sit for a minute and see whether these bubbles come up some are coming up in it i don't think i'm going to be able to lift them and bang them Maybe I'll um, do a bit of a bit of that. Just try and move some of these. Just swirl it around a bit. Try and get rid of some of these bubbles in there. Okay, I might play with this for a, a minute or so, and then I'll come back to you because you really don't want me playing with bubbles. I'll be back in a second. Right, I'm back. Well, I have tried for the past twenty minutes. 
to get the bubbles out of this. It is not happening. So I'm just going to have to go ahead with what I was doing. And I am using today, the, it's called Fan a fan a reach or something like that i'm using sapphire blue and the purple whoopsie now you're in the camera there we go i'm using these two and we will see how we go with them give them a good shake so i think i'm going to put blue in the middle and we'll do a big drop of blue oh, ha, ha, ha. yep and I haven't done the, I haven't put the holes in them, so I shall put the holes in them. All that fiddling around with the, the resin and I forgot to put the holes in these. Okay, that's the blue. So let's drop them in the center. At least I know where the center is in these. Three. I might have to just put um, like a top coat thing because I know it's going to look pretty crappy on the other side. All right. Three bubbles in that one. Right. Take that back in the box. Now let's open the, the other one. It's got this little thing. I don't know whether you can see it. It's got a pin in it. So instead of cutting, getting it everywhere, you just pierce it with the pin. And then we'll see how we go. Well, I think it's gonna to look too similar, but we'll see how we go. I'm gonna put drops in, in there. In each one. Oops, missed one. Can you see me properly? Hopefully. Up in there. really annoyed with this the bubbles but I got the money back for the mold that they didn't send me so these were free we'll see how we go I'll put a bit of the um, platinum 360 over the top of it I think that's what I you have to use over it I will google to see whether that is the right one I'm going to be using over it so Give it, I'll give it a little bit of time to move. I might have to put a little bit more ink in them. So I'm going to mix up my white. It's been sitting for half an hour or so now. I'm using the um, Solid Solutions Epoxy Pastels. So I'm just going to grab my stick. No, just clean my stick off. Give it a stir because this is the first time I'm actually opening these. So we'll just give it a mix. I think I need a ladder so that I can see whether you can see me. Give it a really good stir. Mix it in the middle. Okay, I'm going to get all the, just scrape all the white off. And then, oh, these are getting quite warm now. I'm going to mix it in, I think I've probably got maybe 60 mils in each cup. So I made up, um, I just poured, um, I didn't measure, I just poured equal amounts into two little cups so that I can do the, um, the little petals. Scrape that off. I think that's probably fine another scrape make sure it's all mixed in yep this cup's getting quite warm now okay so then we're gonna clean off my stick then we're gonna mix again scrape down my stick and put it into the next one so i'll just put my lid on this and then we'll show mix up the next lot 
Hopefully I get really pretty petals and stuff. Might have to just give this a bit of a warm up. Just make it move a little bit. I think I might have left my run a little bit too late with it. It is a one to one, although they don't, doesn't heat up as much in those, in the, like, cause it's, I don't know, even know whether I've got enough resin in the molds to make anything move. Cause the, I watch um, Julie, I'm pouring her heart out and she seems to have deeper molds all the time. So we'll just see how we go. Scrape it off. Okay. Pretty sure that's what we've got. That's what she normally has. So let's see. All right. I'll clean off my little stick here. All right. Let's make sure you are in my. I'll move you a little bit. So we'll see how we go with this. Maybe um, I might just put another colour in there because it's all a little bit too purple. So I'm going to go with a little bit. I'm going to go with a little bit of pink actually. So I'm just going to... Oh, now I've got ink on my fingers. Squeeze that. Put the lid on and just give it a good shake. Gotta obviously press these lids down. Right. Oops. Okay, let's go on either side of it then. These seem to be moving more than, than the other ones. Oops. Whoa definitely moves more than that one. Let's put that there. Well, I wonder what that is. Okay, one more. So annoyed with all these bubbles in this. I think I need more blue. I think I might need another drop of blue. I think this is the one that I used. No, it wasn't light blue. It was um sapphire blue. That's one more drop. And that's got wait a minute. That one. Okay, now I'm going to do, I think, the other end of my stick. I might just go and just give it a swirl like that. I think that's going to work a bit better. Let's clean my stick off. that a bit more. Swirl that one a bit more. Swirl that. Okay. Let's put the white in, shall we? And see how we go. I'm going to do circles. Oh, this is going to be way too much white. Um, might have to find something to do with the, the 
rest of the white. Yeah, yeah. I think I need to be using um, a piping bag like that everybody does. Although some of them seem to use these. Okay, that was a little bit better. Yeah, I'm not going to need that other cup. I'm going to have to find something to do with that. I'd have to make a angel, a white angel. Okay, all the way around. Mm. Okay, I'll just get a new, new cup and do this. Way too much in the middle. Definitely not even. Yep, that one is going to look like garbage. Okay, so I'm going to pull the stick through. Actually, give it a bit, a bit of a torch. Get some of these bubbles out, make it move a little bit. Yeah, that one's going to look not good. Okay. Oops, dropped my torch. Might just bring it a little bit more around the edges. A little bit more in the centre. saying stop it stop it stop it now I'm going to go from the center up with a piece of paper from the center up And I'm going to go from these little bits here and I'm going to go down. Oops, wiped with my glove then, not the, the actual thing. Now one more, one more. Nope, need, need to do this one. Right, going to do the swirl like everybody does actually. I don't mind that. Nope, that. Well, right up. I think I'll go over. Up and oh. up and over is not a good thing because it spills. To the corner. I need to put some more sticks, I think, underneath my resin tray. Oh, I'm getting it all over my gloves. Let's get another cloth, shall we? Right, now, should I do that one? And in, in, in. Well, I'll just put another stick under this. Just, it's just not doing it right. Really don't want to be tipping it out everywhere. Okay, next one up. And then we'll go in. Well, 
My granddaughter will be saying to me, don't swell. Out. I don't think this one has got as, oh no, got as much resin in it. Doesn't feel to be as much. Although, now I've got the stick too high on one side. that one back out as well and I'm going to clean up my hands a little bit I'll just get a bit of a paper towel and I'll um, put a bit of a bit of alcohol on it just so that I don't get sticky stuff everywhere I've only got the tiniest bit of resin left so it will be all right I'll give it a second and then I'll torch again. I might just... Ah, oh, no. That's because I was too rough doing that. Okay. Now, I'm going to take that stick back out. Take the stick out from up there. And leave that stick in. And see how we go. I'll give it a bit of a torch. I've only just cleaned everything off the table and now I've made a another sticky mess. So let's torch. Get rid of a lot of those bubbles. Oh, it's looking very white that one, but see how we go. Big bubble there. Okay, I'll come back every now and then and give this a torch, see we, whether we can get some of these bubbles out of it. And I will catch you tomorrow for the demold. I just wanted to show you that they're actually blooming. Let me bring you down a little bit. I don't know whether you can see it. One that you can actually see, or oh, you're a bit grainy there, I'm not sure. Oh, there we go. Oops. I don't know whether you can see it. See this one here? Where's my hand? This one here. You can see it there. That it's blooming. Over here. So you'll see all those horrible bubbles in there, but nothing at all I can do. Even this one, it looks okay. So we'll let it dry. I'll try and make them a little bit more even and then we'll catch you shortly or in the morning. Okay, we're back. It's time to demold. So let's see how we go. I don't hold up much hope for it looking good. So, okay. Go. My stool so that I can see what you're seeing. Okay. Right, we're going to do one at a time. I'm just going to bring you down a little bit lower because I can't quite reach to see my camera. Right, so now I can go off my stool so that I can actually see what you're looking at. Okay. hear it coming off underneath I don't hold up much hope so we'll just see the other two off it's still a little bit soft because it was a little cold here last night and I've got this in my dining room right next to my back door so my husband had the back door open for quite some time yesterday afternoon, so we'll just see how we go with it, because it is quite cold. Okay, number three. 
flatten him out. Number four, right, this is the one we had um, way too much white in. Okay. Pull it off. Right, let's go. Okay, I'm going to stand on my stool so that I can see what you're looking at at the same time. Oop. Right. Oh. Did they bloom? I think they bloomed. Can't really tell. You can see the little pattern in it. Either way, I think I like the pattern in it anyway, and it's given me some pretty colours. So it's sort of bloomed. Bring it up a little bit closer. We'll see. All right, number two. Has that one bloomed? It's moved. I don't know whether you can tell whether it's bloomed. I don't mind it. I think I'm going to put these in my caravan. So they're sort of the similar colours I've got in my caravan. So I think they're going to be quite pretty in the van. Okay, number three. I love the patterns on them. And you can't tell where the air bubbles were. So I'm pretty sure I got most of them out. So that's really good. So that that did bloom. I don't know whether you can see whether I'm hiding you too close. But it did bloom. I think everybody that does these, they have them a lot thicker than what what my moulds are. Right, let's go. I know that this one moved and it looks like it bloomed from this side. So let's turn him over and have a look. Meh. Like, it has bloomed. Put him under. So you can see. Okay. I do love, 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 love the pattern in it. You can see, like if you really look, you can see the bubbles, some of the bubbles in it, but you know what? I don't really mind because of the, the big pattern in it. You really can't see, i will show the light. You can't see the bubbles in it. So... I'm pretty impressed with these. I like the colours. I don't mind that they didn't turn out perfect. So, beautiful, awesome, done. So, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you have any comments, let me know. Thank you very much to my subscribers. I really appreciate you watching my channel. And I will catch you next time. Thank you very much.